All right, what's going on, guys? So a lot of people are always asking me, you know, what's the best model account site to go through? And even individual sellers, how do I know this uh, seller's legit or this site's legit or fake or a scam, right? A lot of people have different questions, and that's fine. You know what I mean? So you really just have to use your best judgment, common sense, look around on the site, description. You know what I'm saying? Description is important. Copyrights is very important to me. Every time I review a site, I always make sure it has the copyrights on it, you know, more trust pilot reviews as far as positive ratings than negative ratings. If a site has more negative or positive than negative, that's always better. If it has a lot more negative, then that's probably not as good, right? <laughs> Individual sellers, you look at the description like on Instagram or something, you'll have people in there vouching for that seller sometimes, right? You know, there's I'd say there's probably more scams on individual sellers than actual model account sites. If you guys know of a site that is not legit, Make sure you drop it in the comments, okay? I'm probably gonna start doing more mod of the account site review videos because I just have so many people asking me, even in the comment videos or on the videos uh, for the mod of the account reviews I've done, asking me, hey, is this site legit? Hey, this and that. You know, that was made for everybody to let each other know information. People are doing that, you know what I mean? But some of them are older, so I might just have to make some updated ones to keep shit flowing. But people on Instagram directly message me asking, hey, what's the best site hey what's this what's that and some of these people either are brand new or they're just not paying attention to the videos I post right they may not be on the channel whatever but if I'm posting something man turn your notifications on and pay attention to this shit if you want to find something that's gonna be legit I'm not gonna name any specific sites you know what I mean uh, in this video but uh, look you have to just um, <laughs> you have to just use your best judgment that's really I mean besides like saying okay there's a hundred positive trust pilot reviews on this site. There's 50 on this one. There's 30 bad on this one. You know, it's fit. It's always going to be 50 50 because you could have, and I'm, I hate to say this, but you could have the best model the count site and you could get scammed off that site possibly. Right. But they don't want to, if it's a legit site, right. We all know some of the best top, you know, model the count sites in this or for this community. Right. They don't want to fuck up the reputation for their site by saying, okay, we're gonna scam five to 10 people, you know what I mean? And fuck up their sales, fuck up their business, cause shit spreads around, you know what I mean? Shit spreads around. So, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, people, a lot of people just don't use their best judgment and common sense. You know, ask around, go look up videos. If you have something for, uh, you know, straight money, like, I don't know, 20 billion or some shit, or trillions and fast run and modded outfits and this and that, double character. Use your best judgment. Go look around. Do search terms on YouTube. You know, look around before you just say, okay, here, here's $300 for this fucking account, right? Now, old gen services aren't as easy to, or are easier to get than next gen services. Next gen services aren't going to be as easy to get because of just the access in general, right? Transferred accounts. You can't just fucking bring any of the account or any accounts from old gen to next gen. You have to do the transfer slash migration process, go through all that bullshit, and then you're set, right? Rockstar did that shit on purpose, you know what I mean? They knew what they were doing with that shit. It's a broken process, broken system, whatever you want to call it, but that's the way it is, you know what I mean? Let's just be honest. Your boy ATA, all I speak is facts, so that's facts, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and it sucks, you know what I mean? It really does because, you know, unless you're just a fucking newbie-ass player, you start in level one, and you're like, fuck it, I don't want to figure out anything, just give me a level 900 account with 5 billion I'm gonna do it like that, right? That's not gonna help you any. You know, if you're if you've been in the community for at least two or three years, then okay, you know, find a good stacked account, you know, and you guys have your own opinion on that. But if you're starting, you're in a fucking lobby, you're not gonna have any fun. You're gonna be like starting as a level one, motherfuckers are gonna call you trash as shit, you're gonna be sitting there with a level five hundred account, but getting fucking dogged on. <laughs> not even be able to get two kills. Uh, two kills all that shit, man. It's fucking crazy. But uh I don't know. I think you guys can understand the point on that <laughs> a little bit at least. Uh, I don't know, man. We'll leave it at that. You know, I'll probably end up doing um, newer mod of the count site review videos just to keep up with everything. And uh, I don't know, but again, you have to use common sense, regardless of what you're on PlayStation, Xbox, PC. PC has mod menus and all that shit like that. But you know, I mean, console is always going to be difficult for next gen shit. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and make sure you guys hit that like button. Have a good one. Peace.